we were so deep in the woods that nobody could even know that something goes on there. So we started thinking about uprising, about revenge, and I think that kept us going. Although it was a silly thought, but you know, that gave us the courage to survive, to do, because we planned, we planned. The plans weren't worth it maybe in the beginning five cents, but we planned and we saw ourselves outside and we saw all the Nazis killed and this kept us going. And every day in 1943, probably in February or when, Leon Fellhandler was picked out from a transport and brought in. We were cousins by marriage. And after we told him what's going on, everybody who came in or they took him out, if they killed 10 from us, they picked out another 10 from the next transport. And we told him, he said, we have to escape. And we asked how, he said, there must be a way and we're gonna ex escape. And we tried, started planning and going to a meeting which only a few went because you had to be very careful. And coming back, you felt like you're doing something. You're planning something. You're trying something. If you'll succeed, it would be wonderful. If not, you'll get a bullet in the back. It's better than going to the gas chambers. I promised myself, I'll never go to the guest. I'll start running, I'll start doing. They have to waste the bulletin. And we started organizing and talking, and it, it kept us alive again, you know, that maybe we'll be able to take revenge for all those who cannot.